Hello, it's Demo from Guitars Next Door that come here. And as you probably guessed, we are going to unbox this Spark Mini. And hey, I want to really like reveal this to you. I do not anymore accept any sponsors for guitarsnextdoor.com or even free stuff. But I have this couple of amps with me and I promised to do content about this before I made the new decision. And of course I'm going to do what I promised. Yeah. And the reason why I'm not going to do any more of sponsored stuff is that I had a really bad experience with one acoustic guitar brand and I will most likely at some point reveal you that story. It's really likely that I'm not going to reveal the name of the brand. You might be able to guess it, yeah. But either way, anyway, really bad experience. Yeah. And that's exactly why some people do not like having like having sponsors. Yeah. And this I got for free. I'm not getting paid, but basically this is sponsored. Yeah. But I received this about six months ago. And yeah, I'm late. But we didn't set any time frames. I just promised it to do content and that I will do. And now I will take a sip of coffee. And from this, you probably can guess, especially if you are from Finland, that what I did when I was a little kid. I watched movies. Yeah. This was literally like two things that I did in terms of entertainment. Maybe three. Ice hockey, movies and Batman. That's kind of a good mix in my opinion. And now let's get into the unboxing. I will unbox this. Quick sound demo and final thoughts, my first impressions. Yeah, so let's get going. This time I'm approaching this from a little bit different angle, but I figured that uh, it doesn't really matter. Like I'm going from here instead of here. Yeah, so there's no tape. Hey, there is, is tape. There's a black tape. My favorite colors, black and white. Well. Uh, Another one of those is technically not a color, but still, my favorites. Looks so, it's a little manual over there. Over there. Yeah, seems like, uh, seems like extremely well made manual. Simple, plus all that is needed to get started. Yeah. Mm, seems cool, yeah. Yep, and declaration of comfort. Yeah, I don't know what is this, but I don't have time for that today. Ooh, looks really nice. Really nice. Oh, small, tiny, mini. And this is USB cable. Yeah. For like charging this thing, I think so. And nice little strap for this, this one. I'll put these boxes onto the floor with and then let's cut this. Finally my scissors get something to do as well. Uh, by the way, I think that you are welcome to disagree, but I think that this, these scissors are the best in the world. Fiskars made in Finland. And I'm not kind of a guy who thinks that everything made in Finland is the best. Far from it. But I really think that these scissors by Fiskars are excellent and I, I still think that these are made in Finland still and that's awesome in my opinion too but yeah not an ad they are not my sponsor but I love them so much and yeah yeah let's put it over here looks really let's put it this way because that's after all how you will see it. Sorry about that. I will also show, show you the scissors the right way. Yeah, this is my bad completely. But I fixed this. I'm, I'm, I'm improving. I'm learning. Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. I'm learning. And here's the look of the nice manual as well. Yeah. But let's need now check the amp a little bit. Like, seems like really well built like like the spark uh, 40 spark 40 as well and here line out 
for the AUX if you want to jam with your favorite tracks without using Bluetooth. And USB for charging this thing and there you turn it this on and yeah and it turns on. It's working, it's alive. I'll turn this off. Yeah. And pair hold it hold for the tuner. And what that pair means, let's check that. I will probably edit this out because I don't want to show you how stupid I am. Pair. Ah, it's pair of pair of, it's just a pair in the Bluetooth. So yeah, I will need that pretty soon. There is a little bit different like amp presets and less of them than with the Spark 40. Let's see how they sound out of the box. Rhythm, lead, solo and custom and yeah, you can make your own there and play with the stuff. Seems solid and not many, not too many like settings. Only volume for the guitar and for the music. So yeah, I didn't actually know this beforehand, but it seems like this kind of uh, using a pawn with this is kind of a must because there is so few settings over there. Of course, there are these couple of presets, so let's see soon, because in this unboxing video, I will just play this without the Bluetooth and the app. And in the sound demo and review, I will play with the app. Yeah, I will do this this way. So let's see how, how this work out of the box. And I think that that's it. And yeah, ah, this is interesting. There's kind of a. Yes, there is room for the speaker to take more air from here too. It's got, so is it this kind of uh, open, basically open back design? Yeah, interesting. Didn't know that. Let's check the manual if there's anything, any info about that. But if that, I will investigate this. And if this is important. And worth mentioning, I will talk about it more in the future. But it could be that this kind of uh, ensures the more open and fuller bass response for the amp and speakers because the speakers can take more air in. Could be that, yeah. But let's see. And now I think that it's time to plug this in and and see how it sounds out of the box. And after that, quick final judge. Let's go. So let's check some sounds out and I choose the PRS for this uh, first sound check because it's so flipping versatile. Yeah, so let's check this out. That was rhythm channel or preset and then let's move to the lead preset and this is kind of a crunch, ground sounding stuff.
And yeah, that sounded really good in my opinion. The sound, I mean, yeah. You can decide if the playing was good. And then the solo channel, and this was the last, this is the last one. There's the custom channel, is there anything there? There is, let's check that out too. But, solo. Cool, and then the custom. Let's check that out too. There was something there, something different. Metal. No one can destroy it, by the way. Don't know if you know that. Yeah. My first thoughts of this, like amazing out of the box in my opinion, the sounds, the basic sounds in my opinion. Of course it's easy to use, but like this is not for the people who want just want an amp to use without the Bluetooth because I mean there's not so few settings here, only only volume for the music, guitar and the preset. So uh, and this is I think that this is not built for these kind of folks either. Yeah, this is for the people who are the portable amp, that sounds great. But itself, the sound space on this first testing and quick playing with this, like, really good. I, in my opinion, this sounded excellent. What do you think?
but to me like really nice sounding little lamp yeah and i think this can work this can work very well for people who want a portable lamp yeah so stay tuned for the full sound demo and full review and all the other stuff and now it's time for me like i will practice the real guitar talk episode 2 check that out because like honestly the stuff i talk about there it has changed my life like really it has saved me yeah and i believe that it can change your life too if you listen to it and take action yeah and after i have practiced that then it's gym time yeah it's time to like save these chest muscles of mine today yeah so it was really nice to see you take good care of yourself and your loved ones and hopefully i will see you again soon